Patients with Parkinson's disease experience a decrease in the control of muscle movement. Let's see the neurological component of this disease and what we can do about it. The firing of a nerve is mediated through several receptors and neurotransmitters. This is the neurotransmitter dopamine. When dopamine binds to the receptor, it allows the signal to be relayed from the previous nerve to the next nerve. Patients with Parkinson's disease have a decreased amount of dopamine. With less dopamine available, the electrical signal doesn't transmit properly. With depleted dopamine causing decreased electrical conduction, muscle movement is erratic. This is levodopa. This is catecholamine O-methyltransferase, or COMT for short. This enzyme will break down levodopa and keep it from entering the nervous system. With less levodopa available, less dopamine will be formed. COMT inhibitors will bind to COMT and stop it from breaking down levodopa. COMT can be found throughout the body. So COMT inhibitors can work in the bloodstream as well. This allows levodopa to remain intact until it reaches the nervous system. Since the main function of COMT inhibitors is to stop the breakdown of levodopa, COMT inhibitors are usually given with the drug carbidopa levodopa to stop the breakdown of levodopa. With more dopamine available and not broken down too early, the electrical signal transmits throughout the body and muscle movement is normalized.